What's going on guys? Mono for the Game Runner Productions here with my cousin Skyler. We're gonna go What's do up? I'm gonna go do some Transformer toy hunting. We're gonna go get a brand new five finger death punch album, aka a decade of destruction volume two, second part to their greatest hits album featuring brand new song Broken World, which is in my opinion the second best song ever created by Death Punch. So let's go to the hunt, baby! Ah! Alright, we're on target. I'm gonna do my lucky walk again because it always works. Uh, hopefully I find Skipjack, because that's what I'm looking for. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Let's see what we got here. Who is this? Top spin, okay. But I got Skipjack. Okay. Sorry, Top Spin. But I'm taking Skipjack, my friend. I love this guy. Look at this guy's robot mode, dude. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, his car is pretty cool, too. Yeah. But I'm going to take him because he turns he uh, helps turn into this guy but hold on guys there's a movie masterpiece figure look at that ratchet second time i've ever seen a movie masterpiece here at this target man all right but we're gonna get skipjack let's get out of here now to look for the album yeah, yeah. oh hey look there's some beauty over there go niners Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm, wear I'm wearing this on game day, day guys. It's game day, prime time day, uh, birthday game day, hashtag birthday, hashtag go Niners, hashtag the Rams are going to beat us, but it's okay. Um, I said it! Hang around the demo! Game over! Anyways, uh, so we're going to two locations today. We're going to go down to a collectible store downtown and uh, go check out what they got. But first, we got to look for the album, so... Um, so we didn't find Five Figure Death Punch's record, but we found Lincoln Park's record, uh, their re-release of Hybrid Theory, and then of course we found Skipjack it's Studio also... Series 67. Uh, yeah, go ahead and order. Go ahead and order. Go ahead and order. Uh, hi. Okay. So it turns out that every time me and this dude go out and do something, Chester ends up saying hi to us from beyond the grave. Uh, so we saw you know, today, obviously we got hybrid theory when we were looking for the death punch album and I'm wearing um, a Lincoln park. He's, he's shirt. wearing, he's wearing a Lincoln park t-shirt. Right. And but think of, listen to this real quick. Me and him went to a five finger death punch concert. I'll play a clip right now of that. Okay, uh, anyways, now that I've gotten my embarrassing ass out of there. Um, so, th when we went there, we saw a picture, and a giant portrait of Chester. And that was like after he had passed away, like about a year after he's passed away Not at even that a point. A couple months. But like, seriously, we had, we, I, we had no clue that that was there at, at, that, uh, at the uh, amphitheater, but it was. And it was so awesome. And then when we went driving to uh, uh, the Tahoe together, because me and his family went to Tahoe, or my family rather, and his family went to Tahoe together, uh, we were listening to uh, Chester's brand new album that had came out the Friday before uh, from the Grey Days album. So Chester has seemed to follow us around wherever we go. And you know what? I gotta say, one of the greatest musicians to ever live and it was truly a blessing to have grown up with his music. Exactly. So, you know, heart. my heart goes out to Lincoln Park and everybody that was affected by Chester's suicide. And Chester, we love you, man. We hope you hear that. All right, on to the next door, Comic and Figure Addicts. Let's get out of here. Okay, so I went inside just to make sure that they allow food and drink inside their store, and, and they do. But uh, guys, this place looks beautiful. Like this is a collector's heaven. I cannot wait to show you guys. If this guy can hurry up and get out of his car and find his damn mask. There we go, now he found his mask. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so guys, this is this store is called Comic and Figure Addicts. It's in uh, Union City. Uh, and it is a beautiful store. Just take a look at this, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful store. They got a couple of Infinity Gauntlets up there. All the Thanos crew. There's Groot. Super nice. 
and the uh, staff, from what I can tell, very friendly so far. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, what a really, really beautiful store. So I'm going to go take a look oh. around now. You guys want to see something crazy? Discontinued Transformer toys from the 80s. What? And 90s. Such an awesome, awesome display right there. So recently I bought a scrap metal studio series figure. It's the Japanese version of him. And eventually whenever I uh, end up not wanting it, I'm probably going to sell it to you guys. Yeah, we, we buy. <laughs> I'll probably sell it to you guys because that'll be, that'll be something awesome to have a Japanese version of a, of a transformer in here, let alone a studio series. And look at some of these statues. Oh, look at that right there. There's venom. It literally, like, it looks like, like they Thanos. took the people out of the movie. And, like, I know. Mandalorian. <laughs> There's Spider-Punk. You guys remember that from our uh, Spider-Man series? And then, of course, Stark right behind him. Remember when uh, Thanos turned this guy's gun into a bubble gun? <laughs> There's Thor. Lightning and everything. You got Rogers. Rabbit. <laughs> rabbit. Yeah, remember? Raccoon, rabbit. <laughs> Build a bear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. You guys ever wanted to be a world heavyweight champion? Well, now you can. Oh, look at that. There's some uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's Mikey. They got all of them except for Donnie. Oh, of course. And Rabbit. Yeah. Ooh, that Pennywise. It's one. the baby turtles. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice Pennywise <laughs> and Michael. Ooh, posters. Hold on. <laughs> Go ahead. Wow. Posters are my favorite. Oh man. Let's just take a look at some of that. Wow. Some beautiful like designs. Look at Stark. Star? That's Star Lord. Right. Oh, yeah, that is Star Lord. What the hell am I saying? Black Widow. Alright, so here are some WWE figures. Let's see. Kevin Owens. Not bad. Not bad. John Cena. The uh, Thugonomics man. <laughs> the Thug Life Thugonomics Cena. There's Braun Strowman, this King of the Re Trophy, or Andre the Giant, or whatever that was. Seth Rollins, Stone Cold. There was another Cena. There it is. There's the Cena. Wow. And I see some of the uh, Transformers over here. Let's go take a look and see what they got. They got the old school shatter, the less interesting one. I see some Revenge of the Fallen back there. Oh my gosh. Dude, this one I had to buy from a Japan website because it's sold out everywhere. You serious? It is sold out in every single website, every single store, everywhere you go in America. Wow. It just could have came here. What else? What is this one? <laughs> they got Cogman. I've never actually seen one in the store. He looks like a... Wow! His face looks like a... C-3PO? No. Here's a dropkick. Oh, Jesus. I just devalued the figure. <laughs> Sorry, Shatter. Here's Dropkick, the one that I never bought, also. What else? Another Cogman. Dude, I think I might buy Cogman. Look at that beauty. Okay, let's put that back. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, guys, look at this. It's Soundwave. I've never seen Soundwave. 
He doesn't transform into a cassette tape. He transforms into some sort of gun, the alien ship. This is a battle damaged Starscream figure. Does he have a Cybertronian mode? He does. Wow. <laughs> Scrap metal. This is, oh my goodness. If you guys are looking for scrap metal, there he is. Hound. They have hound. Oh, man. Look at that. They got Shockwave from Cyberverse. Transforms into some sort of spider. What is this? <laughs> Man, so beautiful. Really, really nice. Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. Skylar. They have the movie masterpiece. Ironhide. 100% screen accurate. And he transforms. How much is that? Though? That's heat. $80. He's 200 everywhere else you go. Are you serious? by far two of the best figures right here so cogman i have not seen cogman once ever and then you got yourself impactor now if i was streaming i would ask you guys which one should i buy but i don't know because because Im impactor is such an influential like character in the in in the uh, show they got some Titans return line up there. That's beautiful. This they have a beautiful Transformers section, guys. It's honestly amazing. Here, let me uh put this back. Let me put these back up on the shelves. Make it easier for them. Wow. Alright. Sky, which one do you think? Impactor or uh, Cogman? Cogman. You think Cogman? Yeah. Alright then. Impactor I can probably find off the internet. Wow. Okay guys. Bad Financial Decisions Part 17. Buying Wills. Let's do it. All right, guys. So I got a uh, Cogman with Excalibur. And then I bought my first ever War for Cybertron Siege figure. And it's freaking Impactor. Because you know what, dude? Impactor had such a really, really, really interesting story. I thought that they did the perfect, most perfect job uh, telling his story in the uh, Transformers War for Cybertron Siege. And then, of course, I have myself the, the uh, Voyager class uh, Skipjack to get more accurate Devastator design. I am one Studio Series figure Constructicon away from getting Devastator. And once I get Devastator, you guys are going to have a nice little time-lapse video of me trying to transform it for about maybe an hour. Damn. That's... I'm going to try and transform them all in one sitting. I might need help. So we're gonna go look for uh, the Death Punch album now by going to, to, to another Target. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna look at the Transformers section, but I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything. Like, unless there's like, by some miraculous freaking miracle, there's a freaking long haul there, I'm not going to buy anything there. I'm just gonna take a look and see what they got. But uh, yeah, enjoy the ride, y'all. Anyways, guys, about that store, Comic and Figure Addicts, down in Union City, California. Fucking amazing store. Fucking amazing. You guys gotta go. They got some really funny staff members there, really cool staff members. They allow recording there. Go down there, guys. If you're looking for something like a collectible, a comic book, an action figure, go look for it. You guys saw what they had down there. They had scrap metal 
which is one of the hardest Studio Series figures to find. All right. Anyways, driving to Target. So one cool thing about Target is that it consistently has like a, a either like a star a, a Starbucks, uh, a um, what you call it, um, McDonald's, or like you know some other type of restaurant that you can get drinks, you can get food after you've done shopping. So Target oh, is was, really a beautiful store. Yeah, okay. Target is such a just a beautiful store altogether. All right. Let's take a look and see what they got here. Oh, look. They have the other Studio Series figure that I already have. Oh. And there's a skipjack right there. Again. That's funny. What else? What's the one you're looking for? Uh, his name is Long Haul. He's like a green one. And he's about this size. But, uh. It's not there. Yeah, definitely not there. <laughs> I checked. Long haul is not being sold in stores anymore, so. Oh, they have Cyberverse, uh, I mean, uh, the Bumblebee version, uh, freaking. I miss the old Transformers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I miss the movie designs. Yeah. Anyways, so that's what they got here. Not very much, but, uh, nice little display for Bumblebee. How about that? We found it. We found it. A Decade of Destruction, Volume 2. Time to go show Skyler. Look at that, everybody. A Decade of Destruction, Volume 2. Two copies for the two of us dinguses. All right. The hunt was successful. I'll say. We, I'll say. we had one crazy hunt. We had one crazy hunt, guys. How about that? Let's get out of here. Let's go home. So guys, this is how we celebrate our 17th birthday up in here, all right? We got Cogman, we got freaking Skipjack, and we got Impactor, and we got the Five Figure Death Punch album. Successful hunt, indeed. And uh, successful damaging of the wallet, indeed. So, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Can't wait to get Devastator. That's gonna happen very, very soon. Cogman, just such a beautiful, elegant design and then Excalibur and everything. All right, now it's game day. See y'all for the game day vlog, which probably is gonna get uploaded before this. Who knows? I don't know how I'm gonna upload them. All right, bye.